Let's step into the pages of a chilling mystery as the great detective Sherlock Holmes battles not only against a spectral hound but also against the darkness that shrouds the very heart of the Baskerville Hall. What secrets lie hidden in the fog and will logic triumph or win over the howls of the supernatural? Let's find out. Hello well wishers and welcome to my channel Aspiring Minds. In today's video, we are going to decode a detailed story, The Hound of the Baskerville, written by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. So grab your virtual seats and let's begin this mysterious journey. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle was a Scottish author and physician best known for his detective fiction featuring the famous detective Sherlock Holmes. Besides creating one of the most iconic literary characters, he also wrote historical novels, science fiction and plays. The novel The Hound of the Baskerville is set in the moorlands of Devon, England, adding to the gothic or the supernatural element of this detective genre. Now the central message of The Hound of the Baskerville revolves around the theme of mystery, suspense and the power of the supernatural in the human psyche, how it can affect the human mind. It explores the conflict which arises between logic and rationality and superstition on the other hand. And Sherlock Holmes employs his deductive reasoning skills to solve a seemingly supernatural mystery. Let's see how. Now, sometimes we don't get time to read the whole novel, so what I do is I sometimes tune into Cuckoo FM and I listen to the audiobooks which are available for free over there. Now, what you can do is you can use my coupon code during your purchase of your Cuckoo FM premium membership and you can get a 50% off. Even I was able to avail this offer, you too can do that. And now, without much ado, let's proceed. Remember, this is just to give you an overview of the story but you will have to either read the novel or you will have to hear it you can hear it also on the cuckoo fm as the audiobook is now available over there so the story begins with the death of sir charles baskerville in a very mysterious manner on the moors of Devon. Now, moor is actually a kind of a grassland. Now, jo Dr. John Watson shares this legend of how a demonic hound is there. A hound is actually a wild dog. How this dog haunts the Baskerville family and has been a constant sense of threat ever since. Now, at this time, Sherlock Holmes is consulted to investigate the death of Sir Charles. Holmes then sends Dr. Watson to the Baskerville Hall to protect Sir Henry who would be the next new heir in the Baskerville Hall. Now the new heir Sir Henry Baskerville arrives in the Baskerville Hall. The moment he arrives, strange events start occurring and Sir Henry feels very scared and threatened by this hound, by this wild hound which he feels is hovering all around in the Baskerville Villa. Now there is an investigation that takes place. Now Sherlock Holmes never comes to Baskerville, he remains in London and from there he keeps sending instructions to Watson about how he needs to follow up the case. Watson discovers various clues and he meets different characters on the moor which adds to the sense of mystery. The mystery starts building up as the investigation is going on in and out here and there. I 
as Sherlock Holmes continues his investigation from London, he finds out that this hound that everyone is feeling scared of is not something of a supernatural power, but he's actually a trained beast who is used for sinister purposes. Wig dogs are very good at being trained, so that's what has happened. Someone has managed to train the dog very well, and therefore he has been scaring people. Now Sherlock Holmes uncovers the history of the Baskerville family and the motive behind the plot. Holmes arrives in disguise and reveals the true identities of the culprits. The hound is exposed as a normal dog painted with phosphorus to create a supernatural effect. The criminals are exposed by Sherlock Holmes and the Baskerville family is freed from this threat of how there used to be a hound that would haunt people and would take away the life of their family members. The novel ends with the victory of logic and reason over superstition. Now there are three major themes in the story. First is reason versus superstition. In The Hound of the Baskerville, a significant theme revolves around this conflict that takes place between reason and superstition. Sir Charles Baskerville's death is initially thought to be because of a supernatural happening because of a demonic hound rooted in the long-standing legend or a story that has been there running in the family. However, it is Sherlock Holmes who is the epitome of logical reasoning, who employs his deductive reasoning method and is able to unravel or solve this mystery. Secondly, the story deals with isolation and mystery. The desolate and the shrouded moors of Devon serve as a backdrop contributing to the overall mysterious atmosphere of the narrative. The isolation of the Baskerville Hall and its surroundings further intensify the sense of mystery, creating an environment where secrets seem to be hidden behind every foggy corner. The vast lonely moods therefore become a character in themselves, hiding the truth and adding a layer of suspense to the events of the story. And thirdly, we see identity and motivation. The story we see in Sherlock Holmes delves into the mystery surrounding Sir Charles Baskerville's death. He uncovers the hidden identities which are concealed with evil intentions and past deeds that shape the course of the events of the story. The revelation of the true identity of the antagonist and the motives behind the plot is very very important as Sherlock Holmes begins solving the case. So that's it from this video. I hope you liked it. Do hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel for more such future updates. Thank you for watching. Bye.